My name is uh, Pablo Alvaro Gonzalez from a small fund management company in Spain. What is your opinion on um, high street retail for secondary high streets uh, in city centers, etc.? And the second part of the question would be more related towards the demographics. Um, you've talked about it, but um, some people say that here in Germany over the next uh, five years, we're going to start to see the effects of, um, should we say, negative demographics coming. Uh, what are your thoughts in terms of uh, investment and how do you protect yourself against uh, those coming trends over the next 10, 15, 20 years? Okay, who would like to pick those up? I can certainly pick up the high street point. <laughs> so somebody better be preparing the demographic answer. Um, <laughs> I can see why you'd focus in on those B locations because when we talk about the high street sector, it's very focused towards the A locations. Talking about the retail dynasties that will, will buy their own units, that will buy for future occupation, will buy to hedge their own future costs in the same street. And we see that trend continuing, we see yields continuing to fall. And so you would hope if the fundamentals are correct, that the secondary locations, these B locations, would hopefully follow as stock becomes more scarcely available and that as yields fall to a level where a lot of investors can't get their, their aspired returns. That, that said, I think you have to be incredibly selective. Unit sizes, I think, come under huge scrutiny in secondary cities, you need to understand the retail mix you have on that street. And if you do have some of the bigger space users, and I know Henrika touched on it a little bit earlier, what are you going to do with those spaces? If you've got a big 6,000 square meter unit, how can you subdivide it if there isn't the depth of tenant there that once was? Um, so I think High Street will, in B locations, continue to exist and exist partly as a consequence of the, re the, the online phenomenon. People still need to go and touch and try and buy and also return. And it, and it will weave itself back into the fabric of retail life, although it feels like at the moment it's having a relatively tough time. Good. Does somebody want to pick up on the demographics point? I can, I can say something. Uh, on the demographics, I think there are basically two dimensions for me are always crucial. First, when we look at, let's say, the European map, I always say we are shifting away from a map of countries to a map of regions and cities. So also when talking about demographics, I'm very keen always on looking, let's say, on the regional and local level. Because it's very easy to say on the national level, well, you know, those countries, those markets we should avoid. Uh, Ukraine, declining population. Czech Republic, maybe in the future, declining population. Hungary, a long tradition of declining population. And also elsewhere in Europe that's happening. But if cities are growing, like Kiev, capital city, Ukraine, new capital, growing, but even places like Budapest, if you look at the agglomeration in the region, and also for Prague, I mean, you know, you can be in a growing city, in, let's say, in a country with a declining population. So catchment-wise, you can actually be on a very good location. So I always say, you know, look at uh, cities and regions. And two, of course, I mean, um, uh, de demographic decline is something long-term and it's also something relative. It's also something what can turn around because of, for example, an economic investment, a new international company moving in, new production moving in. We have seen regions and cities turning around in the last decades, particularly in Eastern Europe, that's happening after the transformation. So I would always first, in, in, in locations which are doubtful, I would always look at the economic structure and forecast how will that region uh, develop and is there a chance that because of employment, because of whatever, there will be a demographic turnaround, which on micro level can happen. And secondly, of course, a, a, a population decline on a moderate level. And if you look at, let's say, the market composition and there is not too much supply in the market for a regular shopping center, it doesn't have to be disastrous. Although, of course, if you have declining population, you think about an exit, you know that possible buyers, investors are wary about it, you might be in a difficult track also if you think about an exit. Uh, but so I would say it's very nuanced in that sense.